Hey Dom, what is the magnification level of the sniper rifle scope? Let's find out! Getting the answer should be easy and only require some simple math. One thing to note, the zoom in effect of the sniper rifle scope is caused by changing the field of view. It's decreased to about 20 degrees when zooming in. This decrease is a set number, and doesn't change based off of what field of view setting a player is using. To find the level of magnification, we'll look at something and count the number of pixels to see how big it is, zoomed and unzoomed. The field of view setting a player has plays a role here. At 75, Team Fortress 2's minimum value, everything takes more space on screen versus 90, Team Fortress 2's maximum value. Anyways, let's do some pixel counting! At a field of view of 75, this square is 59 pixels high. When zoomed in, it's 255 pixels high. Now let's do the same test at a field of view of 90. It's now 45 pixels tall, and again, 255 pixels high when zoomed in. Time for some math! Here are all our values. Now to do the one piece of math learned in school that's actually regularly helpful in daily life. Cross multiplying. First we'll do the minimum field of view one. Note the one value is there because when viewing the world unassisted with human eyes, there's no magnification. Everything is seen at a 1 to 1 ratio. Now we multiply these two values and divide the product with this value to get the answer. 4.32 is the level of magnification at a field of view of 75. Second, we'll do the math for when the field of view is set to maximum. Again, we multiply these two values and then divide the product to get the quotient. 5.67 is the level of magnification at a field of view of 90. Basically, there are two answers as to what the sniper rifle scope's factor of magnification is. We can average the two values by adding them together and dividing the sum by the count, aka 2. This equals 4.995. This number can be further simplified by rounding to the nearest whole number, 5. The sniper rifle scope magnifies by a factor of 5. The number 5 isn't the perfect answer to the question. Since players can have different field of view settings, it varies how big objects are by default. The reference point to compare sizes changes because of field of view. It's as if in real life two people looked at an object, and each saw the object as having a different size. Averaging the outcome of the minimum and maximum possible values seems like a fair compromise. Thanks for watching! Like if you enjoyed or learned something new, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, if there is any math errors, there's a better way of finding the correct answer, or you have other concerns, post in the comments. Au revoir!